All right, welcome back to another Koenji Sean Reviews. And this bonus video is a first look at the new Umez, Umezu Kazuo art exhibition being held on the 52nd floor of Mori Tower in Roppongi. Um, the art exhibition is called Dai Bijutsu Den, or The Great Art Exhibition. I've been looking forward to this for about six months. I didn't know if I'd be able to go because of the COVID restrictions, but it was held. And I just went through in about 30 minutes and shot some quick vids. So let's take a look at it. All right, this is the front entrance to the Mori Art Museum. And here I am going up the elevator to the 52nd floor. And as you come in, this is all the drifting classroom here on the right. And they have a blurb up there. You can actually scan that QR code and get all the information in English as well. But eh, Japanese was fine for me, but that helps for, you know, foreign patrons coming in. Great close. He's the master of close ups, especially of horrified children's faces. This is an art installation from My Name is Shingo. Bunch of LCD screens all patched together here. And you can see the Satoru's Randoseru, his school backpack on the ground there. And all these LCD screens are showing original artwork from. My name is Shingle. There's the blurb here. I like how they kind of, you know, show static. They kind of freak out there in between the panels instead of just a smooth transition. Classic. So we won't be able to see any of the original art from the new upcoming book, which is a continuation of My Name is Shingo. There was two rooms, one showing all of the artwork from, in color and another one showing all of the black and white raws. And there, there are no speech bubbles. It's all artwork with captions below explaining the story. And it's a, it is a continuation of My Name is Shingo, but no speech bubbles. They had a bunch of cases with his, you know, tanko bones and magazines like Shoujo Friendo. There's 14, there's Big Comic Spirit, My Name is Shingo, Sendre Baptism. Some of the movies he did, like Drifting School or Drifting Classroom. Man, there's a lot of stuff in these showcases, like Iara. I have the Iara two-volume hardcover set, but I would love to have the original. I have that Orochi. Oh no, my finger! Look at how much stuff he's put over, put out over his lifetime. This chronology is insane, and it's called Zoku Shingo. Umez Kazuo. Here's some of the movies that he has put out: Akambo, Shoujo. Um. God's Left Hand, Devil's Right, The Drifting Classroom, and that room back there in the corner, that's where the original color art of the new upcoming book is, but it, it was not for sale today. And I will show the gift shop a little bit. These are the humans from the new story to give you a little hint of what's coming. And here's some of the artwork from the new story. So they didn't allow cameras or filming around the new panels because they want to save it for the release, but everything else you could take videos and pictures of. So I did. God, I wish all of this stuff was in color. It's just beautiful. And this is where I live, Tokyo. It's great to have that shot of Tokyo Tower, because if you remember in My Name is Shingo, Satoru and Mirin climbed to the top of Tokyo Tower. So it's a very fitting venue. Here's Chicken George, the best chicken in the world, from 14. Well, Chicken Lucy's the second best. She's pretty dope, too. Yeah, it's great. 
great artwork. Um, I did pick up some stuff in the gift shop, which I will show you at the end of this video. I'm actually in the middle of reading 14 right now. I'm on volume 11 out of 20. It is a great series. And I, I've been on a Umez bender the last couple months just in preparation for this exhibition to get me stoked. And I was stoked. I wish I could have spent more time there, but uh, the COVID situation here in Tokyo right now is pretty wild. I was actually not going to go, but then I decided to just do a quick run through, try to keep my distance, shoot a little bit of vids, and get out. And as you exit, so I've already looked at all the original stuff from Zokushingo, and uh, here we are kind of going towards the exit. They have all these color panels on the wall as you exit into the gift shop. That is the name of something else. God, doesn't it make you wish that everything that he put out was in full color? It's just so dope. To be honest, you know, I had a ticket. You had to get tickets, and your tickets were reserved for a certain time block. And I knew that if I didn't go to this, I would probably never be able to go to another Umez art exhibition in his lifetime, at least. Maybe in mine, but unlikely in his. So, I went. <clears throat> I went. And uh, this is where I live, people. Tokyo. I almost bought that skateboard in the middle from Sendre, from Baptism. Um, I didn't want to film too much in the gift shop because there's a bunch of people in there, but here's a bit. Uh, instead of getting one skateboard for about $130, a little more than Ichiman San Zenen, I decided to get a few things so that I can kind of diversify what I picked up. But I almost, as a skateboarder, I really wanted a skateboard, not to ride, but to have. But at any rate, um, thanks for watching. And hold on, don't go anywhere, because I'm going to show you what I picked up while I was here. All right, so let's check out what I picked up while I was at the Umez, the great art exhibition event. Um, first of all, I got some mints. Yeah, why did I get mints? Well, because of this fine metal case of Zoku Shingo, the new release from Umez. I don't know, just a display. It's pretty cool. Doubt I'll eat the mints either, but I got that. Um, here's the ticket from the event. You can see that it was scheduled between noon and 2 p.m. on opening day. I think they actually opened at 10 or 11 in the morning, but I thought this was the best time for me to get down there and get into it. This is what you scan to get in. A little QR code to get in the door. And first of all, I got this uh, at the gift shop. I got this little file folder of Zoku Shingo because I got a bunch of flyers and catalogs inside and I wanted to keep them in good condition on my way home. They had a cafe there called the Umez Cafe. I didn't have a chance to go in there and eat anything, but... It looks like it was fun. You know, Umes's house is right down the road from me in Ogikubo. I've walked by it before. I mean, it's infamous. The people in Suginamiku, the area I live in Tokyo, the neighbors had petitioned and protested against the colors of his house, but to no avail because we live in a democracy where you are free. This is the flyer. And here's the front of the flyer. Umezu Kazuo Dai Bijutsu Ten. Or the Kazuo Umez The Great Art Exhibition. And that is Satoru from My Name is Shingo. That's the flyer for an upcoming event. Grabbed a couple extras for friends. And this is the Zoku Shingo catalog, which I have yet to see. So this is new for me as well. 
Don't look inside yet. Only look after you have seen the exhibition. A surprise for you awaits. Kazuo Umez. And it says the same here in Japanese. Mite wa ikenai, mara tenji genga o mite kara no odoroki o anate ni. This is listing the titles of all of the artwork from his exhibition in his new upcoming book. As I said, there are no speech bubbles. They're all pieces of artwork which have been captioned below. So this is, th these are all the titles of each piece. There we have one through 50. Goes up to 101. Sorry, I kind of went backwards there. I like that. It changes. Very cool catalog. And I got two more things here really quick. Again, I was going to get the skateboard, but it was $130 or Ichiman Santen N. And I thought rather than doing that, I'll get a couple of things some mints, a file folder, and these. This is the number two canvas print from My Name is Shingle. These were about 3,700 yen each, so about $35. Um, these are printed on, these are not hand painted, obviously, not for that price, but they're printed on canvases, kind of, uh, you know, decoration canvases, not real artworks, but I still felt compelled to decorate my office with them. Um, they had some original plates there that were really cool. Some uh, all in all different sizes, some cups and mugs that were really cool. But again, like, and of course all the sweatshirts and t-shirts and stuff like that. But I was trying to think of stuff that would actually last. And then meeting in Satoru, my name is Shingo, climbing up to the top of the Tokyo Tower. I had to get this. Marin. Mirin is a kind of a, something you use for cooking. Pretty cool, huh? The rainbow and everything. So that is what I picked up while I was over at the exhibition. Thanks to everyone who subs, likes, and shares. You are all awesome. You're the reason why I keep on doing this. And I will be back soon with more videos. This was actually just kind of a bonus video because I wasn't planning. To be honest, I was thinking about canceling going to this. But I squeezed it in just for you and me. Because, you know, Umez isn't so young anymore. He's no spring chicken. So you have to appreciate his work while you have the opportunity to. And... Uh, Remember, everyone, I have a Patreon page, Koenji Sean Reviews. Go over to that Patreon page if you want to see more posts of the fine stuff that I do. And on that Patreon, you can see stuff that you cannot see anywhere else on any of my SNS, including exclusive content and stuff that is just too wild to put up on YouTube. Also, there's no copyright strikes over there, so because everything is subscriber only, so I can do anything over on Patreon. And until next time, everyone... Thanks again, and matane.